Recognizing the need is the primary condition for design. This is how architect and designer Charles Eames used to describe each design process he worked on to evaluate the genuine need of a client. Artviz is one of the hardest domains that a 3D artist can dive into. It's true that it's fairly easy when it comes to modeling, texturing, rendering, and even animating. But the process that you have to go through and the time that you consume finding the right colors, patterns, and design is very challenging. That's why, as an Artviz artist, you'll have to learn to manage your time effectively. Otherwise, you'll never be able to meet the deadlines of your clients. Unreal Engine is considered to be a new intruder to the Artviz world, as people started using it for the purpose not more than 7 years ago. At that time, the combination of 3DS Max and V-Ray was the big elephant in the room. It used to provide architects with amazing renders and lifelike animations. Not to mention that V-Ray is fairly easy to learn and use specifically for ArcVis. Yet V-Ray still had one very big downside. It was very time consuming. It used to take 1-3 to three hours at least to render one image. Meaning that if the client wants to make one small modification, you'd have to wait for the render to finish all over again. Hence why new software appeared on the market, such as Lumion, Twinmotion, Inkscape, just to name a few. They don't offer the same quality as V-Ray, but they're very user-friendly and they saved ArcVis artists a lot of rendering time. When Unreal Engine 4 was released back in 2014, the 3D world was shocked by the quality it offers. That is why it got the attention of ArcVis artists all over the globe. And they started using it for their renders. The results were mind-blowing, as the engine offered an unmatched quality when it comes to photorealism. It's true that Baking Light takes a lot of time in UE4, but it also offered the artists new possibilities to explore their scenes in real time without the need for long-weighted animations. And that was a true game changer when it comes to the ArcVis world. Not to mention that since Unreal Engine 4 is a gaming engine, artists started to tweak these new abilities to their own advantages, and creating all sort of new interactive ArcVis scenes, where you can change the color, texture, scale, furniture, turn lights off and on, open doors and close windows, all inside of your scene, and in real time meaning that architects can now view their designed houses and buildings from a completely new perspective where the client can make adjustments in real time without the need to wait for the rendering to finish all over again. Unfortunately, Unreal Engine 4 was far from being perfect for ArcVis artists because since it's a gaming engine, you will have a mountain to climb in order for you to learn and master the engine. You need to learn programming codes and blueprints, UV channels, and all sort of new skills that usually an artist with an ArcVis background doesn't know anything about. So the learning curve of the software was not really optimal and a lot of artists quit during the process. Not to mention that Unreal Engine 4 is very demanding when it comes to the hardware. You need to have somewhat a new configuration in order for you to work comfortably with the engine. And even with all of that, Baking lights in a big complex scene might take hours and hours of waiting to see the results on your craft. And it is here where Epic Games did the impossible by releasing Unreal Engine 5. We all know that Unreal Engine 5 is a big step in the gaming world, yet very few talk about how impactful that step is when it comes to ArcVis. And don't even get me started talking about all the Magascans assets that are free to use for everyone working with Unreal Engine 5. Can you imagine more than 16,000 materials, objects and decals to use freely in your ArcVis projects? This would cost a fortune if you want to buy and use in other software. And on top of that comes Lumin, the magical global illumination system that gives you lifelike lights and reflection stimulations without the need to bake light anymore. Overall, I would say that Unreal Engine 5 is one of the best tools when it comes to ArcVis, if not the best. A software that is free to use, with unmatched quality when it comes to rendering both still images and animations. It is true that you need to have a high-end PC that can handle that engine, but it would be worth every penny you spend.